it does have the ability to turn see like so or even turn that way if you have the room of course i don't here and you can go up and you can go down <laughs> Today we have a product that I dreamed about getting to make YouTube videos. Special thanks to this company who was nice enough to send us this 27 inch 1440p gaming PC monitor. This thing has speakers, a super fast refresh rate for video games, everything you would want in a gaming monitor in this nice little package. So of course today we're going to get on the overhead rig, we're going to unbox it and take a look at this ultra thin gaming monitor, and then I'm going to hook it up to uh, see what it looks like. Now sadly I don't have like some new age gaming PC, I'm more of a console guy, so I think I'm going to plug this into my uh, to my digital Xbox One S, that way uh, see what it looks like. So click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch. Now let's check out this ultra thin 27 inch gaming monitor. All right, let's open up our 27 inch computer gaming monitor. No tape or anything, that makes it pretty easy. Nice, nice. All right, well I guess let's lay this down, slide it out. The box is empty. So we have foam and then a beautiful 27 inch, nice. Then, I mean, look at that thing. Oh my, look at the back. Wow, that's the front. It is very, very thin. I mean, technically this part sticks out a little bit, but that's just part of the design. The actual monitor is, I mean, like barely the width of my finger like that. It's a thin, thin monitor. Little logo down at the bottom. Looks like your speakers are at the bottom. Then you have your DC power. You have a USB power supply, so that's strong enough to like plug in some LED lights. HDMI 1, HDMI 2, a display port, and headphone jack. Let's uh, take this off. So besides this cool design on the back, looks like we got a mode button that has an M on it. Uh, up and down, that's most likely your volume. An A button, most likely for some kind of auto adjust and a power button. And of course your mount can go here. This is VESA mount compatible. That is always awesome. And I guess that's somewhat it for this part. Let me uh, put this part out of the way. Look at that, they included a cable. So we have our monitor here little screw that must go to the mount. This is uh, for your cables as well. Pops on to bar here to uh, hold your cables. Have a nice power cable. And then this is an included port maybe. Yes, display port. So yes, a display port cable is included. I'm gonna use it with my Xbox, so I won't be able to use this cable, but that's fine. Then here's part of the stand. So this is the main bottom uh, part of the stand here. That's where that screw would go. That's just cardboard. And here's the other part, cardboard uh, of the monitor. So you'd literally take this part and put it into here like so. And then take this screw here and screw it in to place. You can work with a Phillips or flathead, which is pretty awesome. You might be able to just tighten it by your finger. There we go. Screw this down, make sure it's good and tight. Bingo, our stand is together that easy. So now I just flip this over and then you're able to line up these two top pieces with the part right here and it just clips right into place like so. There we go. And also there's a button here to release it, which is great because normally these don't come with any buttons to release them and they're a nightmare. So there we go. Our uh, monitor is all set up. I mean, you can adjust it to look down and up, of course, and you can bring the physical monitor up and down, depending on where you need. So I am actually gonna put this just because, there we go, hold our cables. Almost missed the instruction manual. It had fell in the floor. But uh, for those wondering, you can turn it vertical or horizontal. Very cool. Look at that. Wow. Okay. And yes, activate OSD menu uh, up and down. Yeah. Okay. So I'm now, I'm going to take this monitor and put it on top 
of this new filing cabinet I have and then run my diskless Xbox One S to it and uh, we're gonna try it out and see how it looks. All right, so I've taken my 27 inch gaming monitor here and placed it on top of this new filing cabinet. This way, whenever I'm working over here, I'll be able to watch TV here through my Xbox. So now I'm gonna plug my Xbox into my nice new monitor. And I guess also I'll plug in the monitor. Let's see how long this cable is. Not very long. This is on the floor and comes up uh, to about my chest. I would say we'd be lucky if this was a four foot power cable, which for the most part normally is enough. Like on this desk, you know, it would, it would reach from being plugged into a monitor that would be about yay high down to the floor. But for what I'm needing, not long enough. Let's uh, get this plugged in somehow. There we go, got our cable plugged in here. Now we'll plug in our Xbox. And there we go, now my HDMI cable's plugged in and my monitor is ready to go. So we will uh, figure out the power button. There we go. Nice logo. All right, and now hit our power button and we should get picture on this screen from our Xbox. Yay, HDMI one, that's that's a pretty nice picture, I have to say. Now, I will uh, have to get me a controller set up and everything, but we'll, we'll show you the speakers. One other thing to show you on this is you can move it around. So it does have the ability to turn, see, like so, or even turn that way if you have the room, of course. I don't here. And you can go up and you can go down. Very nice monitor, though. Absolutely love the picture. So let me get a controller and show you what this sounds like and looks like. There we go. I got me a controller now. Oh, yeah. So let me uh, figure out the volume. Hold on. One of these buttons back here. Not those. Uh, not that. So you have a few different modes here. Movie, photo, standard, RTS, FPS, game. I personally like movie myself. And then this button adds a little like crosshair right in the center. Very, very cool. And changes your input. So there you go, you have to play around in the menu to uh, to get the volume. There we go. So I'm gonna max it out. Let's put it on like 80. So you can control the volume, you just gotta click through the menu to get to that setting, which isn't that bad. This is 80, and uh, let's uh, try to get a game to play, even though I haven't booted up this Xbox in a while. It's definitely not very loud in terms of the speakers, but um, I think that's pretty normal for a lot of monitors. So that's 80. but it is what it is. It's a very nice gaming monitor. That was a little louder, but definitely not too bad in terms of the sound. Just hate that you have to go into that menu to change everything. So essentially that should do it for this gaming monitor. Very nice gaming monitor. Love the fact that the speakers are built right in. We're just gonna be using this for TV here in the office. We'll actually probably be playing many video games on it, but you can change the volume settings as long as you go actually into the menu. But outside of that, the other settings are nice. They're automatic. And at the end of the day, it's a very, very nice looking 27 inch gaming monitor. I'll of course have this exact item linked down below in my description if you'd like one for yourself. And that should do it for today's video. Click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch. We'll see you in the next one. Deuces.